What's up everyone, I'm Sarah Connor. You are about to watch my 87th Wi-Fi Pokemon Battle video. This match is a match that I had with Christian, a passerby battle. That's right. I wanted to try out this Hound Game set. I crafted this back in 5th gen, and then we're going to Mega Evolve it. Yeah. Now, I began with my Rotom fan. I really like this form. It's really interesting, I'll say, because it can get away with Will-O-Wisp on things, and it can also pain split. That's exactly what we're going to do to the Gug Trio here. Gug Trios are really fast, so I wanted to pain split expecting him to stun it. I do get lucky here as he goes for another stone edge and misses. I don't think it mattered too much, but at the same time it kind of does. I really don't have an answer to Doug Trio, but you know, it's fine when you take out something when you don't expect it to. Absol comes in and I was expecting him to Sucker Punch. So we're going to pain split one more time. This works out great. Now, I wanted to bring in something after I go for a substitute. So I wanted to see what he's going to lock himself into, or I should say, what he's going to go for in this case. He goes for Psycho Cut, so I know I can bring in Houndoom safely for free. The set that I have on Houndoom is a little strange but it's unique in my opinion. It holds Fire Blast, Dark Pulse, Sludge Bomb, and Hyper Voice. Hyper Voice is a really nice move because it's neutral to pretty much everything except for Dragons and Steel Cape. So here he goes for Sucker Punch on my Houndoom. That actually does a lot because of a critical. And here I go for a Hyper Voice, because I was expecting him to switch out. I... Assuming that he has... Superpower, there is a reason why he should stay in. He does have Superpower, so I'm not really sure why he went for the Sucker Punch first. That's a little strange. I was... Expecting him to switch after all. He does, finally. But I was going to go for Aqua Jet with my... Azumarill. Which, as a rule, is really fun to use. It has Belly Drum. I should have gone for that right there, but I really wanted to take out the Absol. He could Mega Evolve at some point, but I'm not really sure when. Viasaur. Alright. Viasaur, I know it's going to Mega Evolve. If Absol isn't, then that's the other option that I can see Mega Evolving. He goes for Leaf Storm and of course Sap Super Sap 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 Alright guys enough. Sap Super is coming in. It's gonna take effect. I'm fine with that. Expecting him to switch, which I guess was a little risky because he could have gone for a sludge bomb. So I guess that was a risky move, but he does bring in Magmortar, which I was not afraid of because I have Bulldoze. If I can lower his speed a little bit, I can outspeed him with maybe Stoutland because I know he's going to take me out. If I can let Saint Bull here die, or should I say KO, from Magmortar's attacks, Interestingly, he goes for Hidden Power, expecting me to switch. Or he's probably going on the safe side, so that way he, he doesn't miss a Fire Blast or something. I'm going to bring in Stoutland, Choice Band, Retaliate back. I really like that animation of Retaliate. One of my favorites in this generation. Expecting him to have Sucker Punch again, or should I say, Expecting him to sucker punch again. I went for a Kelly because I know he's going to probably not kick me out He actually doesn't go for a sucker punch, which I thought was interesting Azumarill is going to take whatever blast source is going to throw at me He he decides to go for toxic. 
I have a lumber, so that turn was a little useless there. And I was now expecting him to go for a another classic, I guess, because I bring an estomago, which is Spanish for stomach. And of course, swallow up is based off a stomach. Yeah. He goes for roar, brings in Rotom Fan, which is good because I want to force the Blastoise out of a possible Thunderbolt that might be coming in his direction. He brings a Scyther. I go for Sub, expecting him to switch. I don't know what Scyther can do to me. Let's find out. He goes for Aerialist. Okay, so he can break my Sub. It was not very effective and it still worked. I'm a little surprised. I have Air Slash. I could have gone for a Thunderbolt, but he has Venusaur still, so I didn't feel safe going for that electric type move just yet. He goes for U turn. I believe he doesn't have the stocking power to take me out from that range of HP with the aerial aces. He brings back in Blastoise. I'm probably thinking that. He's death foggering his Blastoise at this point. I really don't know why he went for that switch. Anyway, so we're going to take out Blastoise. That's good. He could have gone for an Ice Beam to take me out. That's another possibility, but he doesn't go for that, so I'm fine with that. He brings back in Venusaur. I, again, I'm not too worried about it because I have the Air Slash. But right there I decided to go for a Pain Split. Because why not, right? He is at full HP. But I really should have gone for the Air Slash because I could have taken him out. Possibly, I'm not really sure. It really depends on his EV investment. He goes for a Sleep Powder. I'm not too bothered by that. I have Hound Doom. Expecting him to maybe go for a leech seed, maybe, but he goes for sludge bomb. That sucks because then I can't use my hound him anymore. It's all right because I have Stoutland. We're going to retaliate back again. Awesome, Stoutland, you're a beast with a choice band. Okay, so Venusaur's gone. Now we have Scyther left. Scyther cannot take. A hit, I guess we'll say. Now right there, he goes for a reversal, expecting to be slower. That was actually a little surprising when I found out that I was bad. I have max speed. He probably doesn't, so maybe that was a factor on why he was faster than my talent. But overall, I enjoy that battle, so thank you Christian for the battle. I have a couple of more battles saved up. It took me a while. There's not that many Pokemon players getting battles in as of right now because the new game is coming out. Mario Kart 8, and then there's Tomodachi Life. E3 is coming up. Oh my goodness. So much stuff to look forward to. But anyways though, I will get another battle out maybe this Saturday. We'll see how things go. I've got a study for finals coming up, so... We'll see how things go, but in the meantime, I hope you have a great rest of your week, and I will speak to all of you later. Bye now.